Hi everybody, welcome back. We have our next nominee with Women of Louisville, Stephanie Sweeney. Stephanie, tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure, uh, so my connection to Louisville is that I was born and raised in Louisville. I'm actually someone from my family. Um, both of my sides of my family have lived in Louisville since like the 1840s. So we have a really long history in Louisville. Um, I graduated from Louisville High School in 2000. So it's been almost 21 years. I really, I hate to say that number out loud, but it has been almost 21 years. And I went from Louisville to Kent State University and I went uh, to the Kent campus uh, immediately and I got my degree there and I, I loved it. I so much enjoyed my time at Kent State. Um, I kind of had taken a little bit of a, a journey uh, to get where I am now. Um, I started in education and then I somehow got involved in the political world and working on political campaigns and it was honestly those where I was like walking in the neighborhoods all across Dart County um, that just made me really feel passionate about um, dealing with issues of poverty and I feel like a community is only as strong as the individual so whatever that you could do uh, to improve the lives of individuals is what I wanted to do. Um, so I started working in the nonprofit world so right now I am the Assistant Director at Stark County Hunger Task Force. Uh, we are a nonprofit located uh, here in downtown Canton uh, at the uh, Kenmover Community Campus at Goodwill. And uh, part of what we do is we have several different arms. Um, one of them is the pantry on site. Uh, we have a backpack program uh, that is a weekend meal program for children. Uh, we also have a senior box program. I manage those two programs. And then we also have a network of pantries across the county. It's great because we really cover every corner of the county. Um, even some of the communities you feel like maybe might not have a need, uh, that might not have hungry people there, they do. Uh, so we have a network that we support across the community and that's actually how I know Sally Sandlinay, who is another one of our nominees because she Sally. Is, she's amazing. And uh, she is one of the pantry managers over at the Louisville community covered and does just such an amazing job there. Um, I also have kind of a side hustle, I like to call it. Um, <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> it's like, it's something that I actually love and it's another job, does it feel like a job? Yes. Um, I am a tour guide for Canton Food Tours. Uh, so we give tours all around downtown Canton. I get to be like be like a history nerd and like talk about all the places I love at the same time and we can do it this year because COVID was such a thing last year we couldn't do it we could do it this year so I'm super excited for that um, aside from that I just try to be involved in the community as much as I possibly can um, in 2018 I started the Canton Kindness Coalition um, so we do acts of kindness all throughout Canton and the greater Canton area uh, we did almost 30 events Last year, we were really, really busy. Uh, we have a couple upcoming events, so we're always planning different events. And what I enjoy the most about that is that it's all about getting your average everyday person involved in the community. Um, that was really important to me when I, uh, when I started that. Um, I also am part of the uh, Kent State Alumni Association, um, the local chapter here. So I have my, my roots um, at Kent State and I continue to support the university as much as I can. Well, that's amazing. So you work with Sally. So yes. you work with Sally. So there's how many cupboards? Sure, so we have a network. It's now 40 pantries across Stark County. Again, we try to cover every corner of the county. Um, it's kind of funny because we hit the 40 mark for pantries in our 40th year. And it's also, I'll be 40 this year, unfortunately. So there's like a lot of 40s in my life right now, but it's super exciting uh, that we've been part of the community for that long and we have had so much support from the community and we couldn't do it without people like Sally. <laughs> I think I could have talked to her like all, all day long and oh, everything. Most definitely. <laughs> so what are some challenges that you faced uh, kind of along the way? Sure. So, you know, I often kind of think about like what I would kind of tell myself when I was younger. And I think like the best advice that I could give anybody would just to be that not to listen to what other people are saying about you and not to let that create the narrative of who you are. 
you create your own narrative, you empower yourself. And if you can do that and just listen to what you really want to be, then you'll go far and you'll find much happiness. I 100% agree with that. I've always been uh, in left field. <laughs> and everyone's always like, you can't do that. It's like, watch me. And you and, know, it takes a while to, yeah. to grow into that for sure. You know, you have to, to kind of find, find your niche and you know, you're always going to find people that could be negative or could, you know, question things that you're doing, but you really have to create your own, own story and make it the best that you can. I, lo I love that. I, I love all the stories that we're talking about and it's just crazy how similar everybody is, you know, talking about like find your path and figure it out and create your story and, and agreed. You know, and there's an the extra challenge of be of being a woman. I did I did pick a field where it's maybe a little bit easier for a woman to, you know, find success and to find their niche, but you know, it, it still presents as challenges and I I think it's great that we we have women in the community that are paving their own way because we're setting such a good example to future generations. I have a niece who's three, and I hope that she can look up to women like the nominees and know that she can be anything that she wants to be too. Um, so, with you having a, a niece and you know trying to make sure we are you are setting an example for you know our future women and everything, what's your favorite accomplishment that you liked, like you're just so proud of? Sure. So it honestly would be making Canton Kindness Coalition a thing, yeah. like because it, I mean, it was just something that came out of um, just wanting people to have a place where anybody could be a part of something and anybody can be kind. I mean, everybody likes it when people are kind to them. And, you know, I sometimes like look back, like especially after last year, I put together like a an end of the year video and like spliced together some of our events. It was just like a video in Canva. I'm not an expert at <laughs> that kind of thing. Canva is the best. It is. Agreed. <laughs> But I was like, wow, like this was not a thing before November of 2018 and we made it a thing. It just it, it just made me really proud and I'm just happy that we're able to just do positive things in the community and we can serve different demographics and we're empowering people to be involved in the community through Canton Kindness Coalition. So I would say, you know, awards are nice and you know, you, you know, they look nice on your desk and everything like that, but it's like that legacy that lives on when you create a project like that, that is the most meaningful to me. Well, thank you so much for coming on here. Congratulations again for being a nominee. Yeah, <laughs>